All right. So continuing from the last one is I currently have an application that gets a swap chain. And whatever is in that at the start is displayed every time. And unfortunately, like obviously, I'm not actually rendering anything or clearing the buffers or swap chain images whatsoever. So whatever was in the memory before is what's getting displayed right now. So I need two things. First of all, I need to, um, well, primarily I need to actually start rendering something. So after we, uh, well, no, I'm gonna, not going to render something, I should say. I'm going to at least clear the image. I'm going to manipulate the image and then display that. And then I'm going to go ahead and fix all the warnings and errors that are cropping up. So it would obviously happen like after, okay, swap chain, rendering, it gets the next image to do. And then we actually go to And then we do rendering here. <clears throat> uh, probably at first, what I'm going to be doing is just clearing the screen. Now, if I can figure the documentation out just a moment, I should be able to figure out what I need. Hmm. Okay, we need uh, we need command buffers. We need yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's kind of getting a bit messy. We've got this op image. Ah, so we're going to have hmm, a command buffer. We're going to have a command buffer, or command pool, I should say. From which we keep the command buffer. To create that, which is going to create info. Okay, we'll create info. Let's have a look at what else we need into this. Family index. So I need to know the family I'm going to be operating on. Hmm. Well, isn't this cute? I do not. I'm just going to presume. Uh, what do I do? I'm just using the first one. Okay, right. I'm just using the first one. So I'm just going to work with that. And then once we have the command pool, we're going to be like, uh, okay. allocate command buffers.
there we go. Then buffer allocate info. Oh, it's right here as well. Equals the command cool. It's a primary level. We want one. This returns, right? So every time we come through, we're going to do, 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 do. Yeah, reset command buffer to command pool. And then we're going to create. We already have the command buffer. We have the command pool. So now we want to begin the render target. Render pass. Oh, I need to create a render pass and a bunch of other things as well. Oh, OK. Hmm. Hmm. Render passes are uh, looking quite, quite fun. Okay, let me just bring this over. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in here for render passes. Primarily being, okay. We actually just do sidebar. Okay, okay, fine. Two things, fine. Attachment subpasses, dependencies between subpasses and stuff. Create a render pass. We need a bunch of information. Attachments. Attachments are really the big one I can think of. Okay. Put this to the side. So I can have it as a reference. And I'm going to require a system for generating render passes. Let's cozy on up those guys and
Okay, okay, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on. them if we can so that we can just retrieve those that have already been created. Just looking over the whole bunch of nonsense. Okay. So for the most part, this works on, on a device level. So we'll get a device. We'll hold on to the device. I'm in the CPP file, not the HPP. There we go. Okay. Right now it's actually local. No, don't. Make some pools. We'll just add them to be compiled for the time being. Make sure that they work. Okay. Get rid of that. 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 We will want to. Have a mutex because we'll only rarely create them, but we'll mostly just be um, reading them. So a shared mutex should work here. We we'll have a standard vector mm, of. So it's got a bunch of uh, attachments, layouts, load ops, store ops. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have, to have a variance of this as well.
Rendering pass set. It's a set of render passes. There's a whole bunch of nonsense going on here. Our variants. Those render passes can be somewhat compatible. They can sometimes be shared given certain circumstances based on. So the compatibility, compatibility is based on, according to this, uh, formats of attachments. That's per that is per the set of attachments. So if you have like say two attachments and they both have and uh, okay, no, I'll, I'll, eh. if you have different render passes with the same format and samples on all the attachments. But what's different? The other things that can be different are the VK attachment load op. This also has to be per attachment. But, okay. is turning it wow this is turning into a monstrosity already uh okay
Oh, I'm reading this elsewhere, aren't I? No? Yes. No, I'm explaining it the opposite way than what I'm thinking of, aren't I? Whatever. Variant key. Key. Z. Uh, This is not the most efficient, but it'll it's a solid base to begin with. And that's what I need. Render pass compatible key. Um, key for what's compatible. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, render passes, as long as they have the same format and the same samples for the same set of attachments, are compatible. So, you don't actually, so you can uh, attach one render pass, be able to reuse it for different variants of these guys. Hmm. Yeah. Do the render pass set. This attachments. Oh yes, the compatibility of render passes is for um, uh, the thing later. I think that's below the render passes. The commands that you can do out below them. Uh, something else. Something else below this. I'm trying to trying to remember what it is. When we generate something else. Command buffers, commands, frame bu frame buffers, frame buffers. That's it. Which we're not even there yet, anyways. So whatever. Okay, I got this. Got these guys. Um, I need to initialize. We need to be able to grab render passes, which means. 
we also need to be able to dynamically generate them as required. So hold on. These are all no except. These guys can't throw. Nope. This can throw though. That means we can also and we have a second one which would be a vector of a format. this and this that's kind of it because deinitialize mm, create no I mean this creates at the same time and this will just return null if we don't yeah okay we'll give this one a go just need these guys You should know if you've initialized this or not. If you can't, then that's kind of on you. No point in that wasting an extra bit of function um, space in the binaries for that. It's already been initialized, so don't do it. Do I reset it? No, I do not. Um, there's a possibility I may actually want to be able to do something else here as well later, such as when you already have a bunch of render passes defined or declared, and then when you reinitialize the pool, you can deinitialize and reinitialize the pool for recovery. And if you already have a bunch of render passes declared or defined, then you can just remake them all at the start instead of having to regenerate them. That's my. That's how I think about it, anyways. No. Standard scoop for the end sync. Yes, it does work on a shared. Very nice.
Um, And if this is not initialized, then there's nothing there anyways. Ooh, variant dot pass no. Then we do that. And clear that up. Okay, now for the fun stuff. Need some way to generate these keys. Um, so these are struts. We always do struts and we do functions. Generate that vector internally. And we'll do the same thing for variants. These will also not affect this. Just to add the uh, on the fly. And I want to do them before I go in and lock the class up for uh, use. Then we're going to go. Yes. So we're going to um, we we'll pass in the keys. Otherwise, we'd have to go ahead and um, unlock that, and then we'd have to go into exclusive mode. And then we'd have to Okay, uh, 
false. Yeah, we'll have a little flag on the end for find render pass. Because there's a chance, however small, that by the time I'm done this and I come into here, that someone cre uh, someone else snuck in and created it. So I need to refine it. This the thing is, is that this will happen almost never. It's almost always going after like the one person creates it, or the one uh, thread creates it. Then this goes through this once. Then it's always always going to be in the shared mode instead. So this is a very rare operation. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be rare. So we'll try it again, just in case it was created before between my lock times. Otherwise, return create render pass. Okay. We'll have the same thing for create. Mm. Okay. So cons. Okay. Uh, these. Attachments. Uh, to create this, oh, I probably want to change it up to be after. Okay. Yeah, and it needs to be after so that it gets that. Like that. Be scoped properly. Thank you. That yeah, makes it a bit more readable, too. Just by absence. things a little bit very nice uh, I was here yes turning a bunch of the compatible keys Reserve that many units because there's just as many keys as there are attachments.
Okay, and we return the keys. And then it's basically the same thing for this guy. Not too big of a deal, I do believe. So yeah, this is the compatible part. These are the variant parts. Not sure about the flags. I don't think there's any flags yet. There is. May alias. I don't know what that falls into yet. I don't know what it is, so I'm not going to even touch it yet. Where was that? Yeah, uh, no, no. Basically, the same thing all over again. Don't need that. Okay. That generates those. <clears throat> and you need to be able to find a render pass. So this is going to start. This is going to start with, um, well, yeah. Got to go through the render passes. Um, if key it's not keys. It's key. singular if the key of the render pass is the same as the compatible You know, there's actually basically nothing in here. I could probably, hmm.
Really? Is that it? Otherwise, we'd be returning. Well, If we went through the variance and didn't find it, so no handle. Hmm. You know what? I actually will. I will try to squeeze uh, that into here. Try to create. So if, okay. Because we're already here. We've already searched through the compatible passes and stuff. So instead of mm, the create process. Actually, no. <clears throat> And then we'll have the generate one, which will basically be almost the same. Uh, no, no, no. So we'll return if it exists first. Otherwise, we're going to be doing the creation part, which is into the sub function because I'm going to also have to do it down below if I need to include the graphics mode. doesn't quite exist in okay you know what no 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 we're just gonna move it move it right now don't do temporary stuff. Okay, we're here. We've got this. It's Exporting four functions. Rebuild all this stuff. You got problems out the everything. Big problems. Template problems. Yes, I, don't, I haven't actually created that function yet. That is true. That is true. Um,
from that. key um, and then otherwise what we've got going on down here is we'd basically be doing almost the same thing except we're also going to have to wrap it inside of a new set as well because we don't have a we just don't have a compatible one whatsoever Okay, what I need is basically this to start with. I probably do something with this. Starting variant, which is just this essentially. Put that straight in, right? And then we need this to be able to do it twice. So create render pass, create. Um, generate, 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 create, 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 create. There. This requires just the attachments. That's where all the data comes from, anyways. References. Then we're going to have 
for a depth stencil. going to have Just do this as a default. We'll find out what we need exactly later. So we have the color references. We have the depth stencil reference. Now we need to go through the attachments and actually sort through what's uh, what. some kind of is depth format function for hmm. because if it is Two things first. If um, if the depth stencil reference is already we've got a problem right here. Requested pass. We'll just do that for a moment. If that otherwise, depth stencil reference to attachment equals this catch uh, I I I got them. Otherwise, it's not a depth stencil format, meaning it's a color one. I'm not even going to bother with subpasses yet. It's just too much pain. So once I have all the attachment references, I'm just going to say VK subpass um, description. a lot of things in here. Uh, 
Um, it's always going to be graphics for the moment. Okay, I don't have any inputs. Everything else is basically null or zero, except for after the end, if uh, death. Actually, I know I can, I know I can do a part of this. Um, death. Equals. Then we can return depth stencil reference. Otherwise, no pointer. Ternary. And we have people everywhere. <laughs> OK, uh, what's next in? Subpass. Really? Mm. Oh no, I already got, I just did subpass. Description. What's this? Subpass dependencies. Okay. Um, I'm not even going to bother with. Just because I only have the one subpass, it's just going to be super simple. Just two of these guys. going to go straight into them. Stage. Yes. Stage. What's this? Okay, I got a pipeline stage. Oh. Bottom of pipe. Okay. Says. See flag by view by region. Um, okay. No, 
search from there. Frame buffer local, subpasses more than one view. None of device local depend. Okay, so by region is for the inside the frame buffer, which makes sense. And here we basically do the opposite. this and we want to do destination storage task. this will be the top of do we want to get these guys External, right? So it's read bit again. And it's just it basically flipping. Everything's being flipped right back. Except this, this will be the same. Okay, and according to that, that's everything. Structure type under pass info. Do I not have it here? I thought I did. No, I totally do. Oh, uh, need to uh, Ah, yes. So set up, that's that. to do this. Mm -hmm. I need uh, something to do for uh, depth format.
Okay. Uh, depth. Uh, it's not like this. Not like uh, it's a format, right? Uh, the yes, these guys. No, uh, it's a new one. But these are depths in depth stencil formats I'm interested in. So I just need to make sure it's none of these. These can also be probably the constant expression, maybe. I just keep this an internal. Norm thirty two that sixteen stencil twenty four stencil three two stencil. We do the same thing for uh, depth stencil actually while we're here at it. Get rid of these two. Seven minutes on the download. Okay. Um, there we go. If is depth format, then it goes in depth stencil. Attachment read. Uh, access flags. What is this? This is what kind of image layout. Depth attachment. Optimal color attachment, optimal depth stencil attachment, optimal. Okay. Oh, hold on. They're the same. 
depth read only stencil wait depth attack whoa depth attachment optimal depth stencil attachment uh, and this was like an extension confusing okay I'll just stick with the base right now figure it out later Actually, no, 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 we'll do it now. image layout undefined if it's a depth stencil then we go vk ah sorry no not that where the attachment is that If it's depth, stencil, attachment optimal, right? Not depth, stencil, attachment optimal, yes. Make it readable, thank you. Otherwise, it becomes this, and it's just depth attachment optimal. Okay, we got a lot of uh, problems still, such as create render pass. Oh, um. Uh, no, uh, results. I got enough stuff going on. Okay, let's see if we can start cracking down on some of these. I bet these are failing because of something else going on in here. So it's there's so much going wrong that I can't actually see the top of the cute. Okay, here we go. Warning, no return statement on something. Yes because I haven't even done that one yet. That's great. Between... Is this was, is this it? Ah, okay, that was easy. So just generating a compatible key to return, I think. What's the idea behind this one? Yeah. Just any compatible one with... Um, Mm. Okay. Yeah, 
You know what? No, 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 no. Screw that. I'll actually add it if I need it, when I need it. Simplify. Keep it simple. Blur. Go back to engine. It's not going to fail too hard. No, not quite yet. So we've got seven four. We've got command pools. We need um, that now we're going to go to we need to generate the render pass before we go anywhere don't we hmm Okay, well, we need format the samples. We need this stuff. Uh, and we're on a... Hmm. Okay. We have what? We only have one. It's just for the color attachment, the swap chain, the sur sur surface swap chain image. Surface format is like what swap chain. Right. Really? You're gonna you're gonna throw this at me? Oh, I need to be two in, don't I? What's that? There we go. Okay. Care. Storing. Don't care. We're not. 
doing anything with this stuff. It is. We want it in to be present by the end of it. Okay, we now have a render pass that I presume is going to return. I hope. Okay, well, let's just see what comes out. F10, F10, F10. Solve image render pass is something. Okay, is this a real render pass? Looks like it. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised that worked straight off. Okay, I guess it just needs to re build its whatever. Okay, we have a render pass. Uh, now I need a frame buffer. What fun, don't I? Okay. Um, hmm. This looks like a uh, rendered. <sighs> well, I just try to figure out a frame buffer. Frame buffer, I need a compatible render pass. I need the image views, the attachments. Yeah, attachments as image views with height layers. 
I want to try to collate that together into something more useful than just a frame buffer by itself. Hmm. Okay. I don't. Hmm. Okay. Just grab it. Drink for a second. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, this is going to be quite painful, but got to do what I got to do. So, targets, surface, target specifications. I need some kind of thing to represent a render target.
Uh, there's two types. So this, hmm. okay. There's going to be a bunch of attachments with specifications here. Um, and the specification is like, um, basics, okay, format. That it with your spec, oh, but we also have to. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about this yet, quite yet. But what we can probably still do is have like. Private section, so that that would. Mm -hmm. These are things that you can change specs in that. Then we'd have a private section that's like. Um, Okay, I'm going a bit out of control on this, aren't I? What do I actually need? I just need a frame buffer. Create a frame buffer. Come back to this later. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. Unfortunately. Frame buffers would have to change with windows as they change. Hmm.
I'm trying to think of a way to be able to reuse these frame buffer images, these render target images, other than the surface ones, obviously. I can't quite think of any good ones, or good ways to do it. Okay, I'm going to need like a Just the one for now, geez. Don't static it, just freaking put it up here. Where I put the render pass? Oh, I don't even have the render pass in here, that's right. Render pass pool. I don't actually have the swap image with me, do I? Not quite. Uh, 
Oh, yes, that's right. I need one for each of the swap images, in which is, I have is a minimum of three right now. So... We'll do everything but the attachments. One, two, three. Oh, it's one attachment per. Yes. Back that up. Back that up. So it's one attachment, but we're not going to quite attach it yet. Rather, what else do we need? Not this. the dimensions out don't I or that not really the greatest They have this swap between these guys all the time. I need to know the number of images. Not num uh, chain size. That's what it is.
I need to be able to get um, Similar to that. So we can actually have this here as long as we have this specified up here somewhere. Like that. Okay. Okay, now that we have frame buffers, now we can begin the process of, um, oh. I have cleared the command pool, yes. I've rebuilt swap chain. I've rebuilt frame buffers if needed. So then I go into VK command, VK. Um, begin command buffer. Scope because I'm dot. Uh, 
flags equals it looks like there's a okay, buffer usage one time which is true I need something better than that. I can't just leave. I just need to I need to actually get some information back out of the goddamn system. So I can figure out what's going wrong. Luckily, this is where external comes into play. Let me see exactly where it is. Um, open up Chromium. Um, da, 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 Vulcan Minilibs from Utilities, yes. So what I have from a previous uh, attempts at Vulcan and creating garbage stuff is this. A uh, little couple of utility micro or mini libraries, uh, which read in the specification from each version. So if I go to, um, not that, commits. I've it, it's auto generated from like each uh, specification release, and has three sets. First of all is equality checks that goes that's just auto generated. Uh, whoops, not here. Go inside detail equality checks, and for each structure type, well, it's a third of a megabyte. It's not that big. It generates, e, you know, basically operator equals and operator not equals. Um, much in the same vein as, I believe, Vulkan HPP does, except this is a compilable kind of thing. So it's a bit lighter, my humble garbage opinion. And it also does recursive, like it can do deep, uh, if I do is a for loop. Yes, it also does deeper things. So, like uh, for like arrays, it'll also go in and check the quality of the arrays inside of them as well. So, source f, then constants and what have you. Uh, but that's okay. That's equality. That's not what I'm caring about right now. Uh, there's also value serialization for converting to and from string like values headers and arrays and values, basically everything you can find in the Vulcan header, enums, typed Fs. What I'm really interested in right now is error code, which this isn't the right one. This is also designed so that uh, you can use it uh, no matter what um, header you have. So like Vulcan HPP and that are tied to the specific version of Vulcan you have, and if you have mismatching versions, then you're basically dead uh, in the water. This has this uh, thing where it's like, it just changes which one in the back end it uh, compiles through, depending on your ver uh, well, VK header version. 
from I believe when they got the spec standardized around 72 to 157, which I think is not the latest. I'll find out in a second. But error code is simple where it just converts error codes into strings, all of them, which aren't that much. Anyways, point is, create a how do I want to do this just top level kind of thing I think yeah It's like Vulcan full or uh, okay, yes, yeah, it's, it's full. We'll put it in as source. How's this laid out? Um, yeah, just, uh, just that, bam, part of external, uh, we're going to want to see make lists.txt, wait, hold on, no, no, I want to, Um, yeah, underscore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in a similar vein to the other thing, it generates files on demand. No, I have it in the example, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, error code. Error code, what was the last one? Serialization. Grab header, M, M, M. So for error code, we need, what's the value? What is the value of this? Following, I uh, modeled this off cache, which is about that. And then we include a VK that.
about that. Um, I'm not even going to bother with the sub whatever. I'm just going to say minimum required version 13. I'm going to make them into separate libraries each, I think. And keep them static. Yeah. for the others. Three, four, almost that. Will it work? No, it won't. Why? Uh, I've got one of these just mashed together. You are. Yeah, that one's cheap. That one's also somewhat cheap. That one's not really that cheap at all. But I'm also in like debug with uh, code coverage stuff on, aren't I? No, I don't even have code coverage. I just have debug. Thirteen, yeah, it's not too bad. What version do I have on here? Um, it's not exactly what I was looking for. One, I'm still on 157. Okay, I guess there's no been no new spec for this yet. Oh wow, the graphics really shrank. Okay, uh. 
What was I doing? I, yeah, I got that. So now I need to uh, make a macro that's going to do. We're going to have two. We're going to have one that has VK, accepts Vulcan thing, so I can actually spit out the error I got online. And just a uh, end program. That's what we can do, something like that. Since I always call it res anyways. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, I guess Clang D decided this, uh, to just keel over again. Same deal here. Oh, yeah, yeah, and uh... Ooh, yeah. That is a little bit of a problem.
it requires us to just kind of put these guys up here. I'm not going to change all that too much. We're just gonna slap all these lads in a nice little scope. Nope, not quite. Why? Why not? Oh yes, because uh, each one has to be. Render pass pool allocation of command puffers. Wait. Nothing's created down here. Command buffer stuff. Expansion of macro from here. Yep. Uh, he has a member named what? What? Uh, CPG reference. Error code. Message. Okay, uh, conversion from to that. Yes, that's right. I uh, include. I actually need to include that if I want to use it. And there we go. Well, okay, let's do, 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 do these guys. Vulcan, let's get, okay, let's get the external stuff going. Stage that. External, 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 external. What about you? No, that's the new thing. Don't need it. I did, uh, I'm not like misremembering, am I? Welcome any libs, this error code, 72. No, yeah, it does actually make error, the direct error codes.
I'm not crazy. And that had something. Now, uh, where was I? With that out of the way. We got all these things. They'll spit back out errors if they occur. Almost. Okay, let's make sure they're on all of them, almost. Okay, they are all, oh, almost. Ah. Oh no, because this would be, uh, okay, for the moment, do that. This will be split out into a function later. Make sure everything can return if there's a problem. Okay, uh, back to frame buffers and stuff, right? Ah, yes, beginning of the command buffer. Yeah, I remember doing this way back when. <sighs> um, Once we go, once we've, uh, we need to like uh, set up the render stuff, the render pass, render pass setup, which means okay, render pass. And it's going to be like, what was it? Frame index. I don't actually, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, that's another thing I need for a swap chain. I need to return current index.
Where was I? Here. Extent of the frickin' swap chain. All right, well, that's just at least downloaded. It's time 10, 22. I'm um, two and a half hours. This is really dragging on. Okay. This. We're going to pass uh, rectangle 2D, which means rectangle 2D is like made up of, uh, yeah, these two guys. do this again, pull this information back again. Oh my God, you, yeah. Okay. Uh, clear value count, we only have one. And it'd be dot p clear values equals color value. What is this? Really? Not quite. Am I crazy? Is it is it is it this instead? Is this what I'm looking for? Yeah, clear value. G 
just yeah, color equals that. And there we go. Okay, render pass. We begin the render pass. Um, and I'm just going to end it right away. No, no, I need to begin it so that the stuff takes effect. Uh, oh yeah. It's like inline, right? Contents inline, yes. Then we end it. Then I'm going to submit it. Uh, do I need uh, VK? Four. We are actually going to wait. Uh, so rather than relying on uh, oh, I thought I had like a waiting point. Nope. Okay. I, I just, whatever. We're going to, we have to wait until uh, swap image acquired semaphore. Stop P wait stage uh, destination stage mask, which I believe has to match precisely, but in this case So this is now being used up here, which means this needs to be changed up for a render complete flag. So 
So now we need one there as well. Because that's what's going to be signaled by this. Swap image goes from here to here. Then we have to wait. We render, then render goes to this, and then we leave. Uh, present info. We're waiting for that. Problem being, yeah, okay. I cannot come back into this loop until I know I'm done with the command buffer. Otherwise, I'm going to try rewriting it accidentally. But just to see what's going to happen, anyways, just watch it blow apart at the seams. Duct tape is failing, Captain. Super epic failure. Very nice. Um, really. I'm betting that's only because it's on the second uh, loop that it's trapping out. Nope, it's on the first. Really? Um, I render complete semaphore. Oh, you know what? I just didn't even submit the information. I created the submission info, and then that was it. Then the program freezes right on there. Okay, uh, let's just grab. Where is also this uh, actually does no this does not return this returns this returns still there okay Uh, it's not actually doing anything. That's a shame. Oh no, I I I put don't care. Do didn't I instead of clear? Maybe.
Yes. I'm presuming zeros are black. Are uh, let's put blue as the one. Alpha. I don't care about alpha. Alpha is dead to me. Dead to me. You hear? Yep. Okay. I actually am submitting a very empty rendering command, but at least it's clearing stuff and submitting successfully and everything else around it is alive for two, nearly three hours of work to do to get to that. And I'm not really comfortable committing any of this yet because it's still super in progress. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll just end it there. I'm gonna do a bit of a break, get a couple of drinks, uh, restore myself, and then maybe come back or figure out what to do next. Other than cleaning up this nonsense.